I told you guys in the beginning the Shi'ur to Rabbi Udaftaya came to him in a dream. A man called Shabtai Tzvi Shem Rishayim Yerkav. He made himself a Messiah, false Messiah. He ended up converting to Islam. He died on Yom Kippur choking on a piece of pork. Yeah. No. Yeah, Muslim. He was in a man called Bukhar. He is not Bukhari. Also, Iraqis had a minahak to call firstborn son Bukhar. And Rabbi Udabtai fixed this guy, fixed this, fixed his soul. This guy was in Khibuta Kever for two years. Two years. You know what kind of klipa? When he, when he left his body, the klipa that was on top of his body was two amot. You know what two amot is? It's about uh, uh, three feet. The klipa that time was about three feet. So Rabbi Yudab, I want to tell one small thing, guys. Rabbi Yudab Taya asked him, what made you go off the derech? Because my parents didn't keep taharat mishpacha. His mother never went to the mikveh. That sentence alone is worth a thousand shiurim. A thousand shiurim. My mother never went to the mikveh. That's what made me. And you know, he had a nefesh, he had a ruach. He was about to get his neshama. And he broke. What's the power of Tarta Mishpacha? If you could make that, take that clip out of the whole shiur and just send that privately. It's going to be a very big siyata deshmaya. To review, Daptaya came a soul who used to come to him to get fixed. Called Natan HaAzati. Nathan from Gaza. He wasn't a Palestinian. He was a Jew. He knew Kabbalah. He even had Ruach HaKodesh. But not everyone who has Ruach HaKodesh is the right guy. He came to review the Tai to get fixed. Rabbi Yudab said to him, I can't fix you. You've been in Kafakela for 300 years. Oh. Yeah, for 300 years they were in Kafakela. Oh. How am I going to fix your Nishama? How? Tells him, please, you Rabbi Yudab If anyone could do it, it's you. So he said, I'm going to do something for you called Tikkun Haniftarim. If you do this for a loved one that passed away a couple of times, even a person who was in Kafakela for 300 years goes to Gan Eden. You bypass Gainom. You bypass everything. Easy pass. No Gainom. Straight. Yeah. It's called Tikkun Aniftarim. What do you do? Rebuild up to this guy who's in Kafakela. He made thousands of Jews convert. This guy was, was the Navi of the Mashiach Sheker. Shabtai Tzvi's prophet. He was his Eliyahu Navi. He says to him, I'm going to fix you. Because Rabbi Udabtaya fixed him, his son almost died that year. He lost all of his money. Because sometimes when you fix a soul that's not supposed to be fixed, from Shamaim, they say, now we're going to take it from you. What did he do? He got 10 boys, 18 years old, under the age of 20. He got them in a shul. They all finished Tehillim. They did Hakafot with Shofars. And after every Hakafa, they finish one book of Tehillim, Hakafa. Shofar, Hashkava. Another book of Tehillim, Shofar, Hashkava. Another book of Tehillim and light candles, Abraham, Mitzhak, Yaakov. Like this, Shofar, Hakafa, Tehillim. Tehillim, Shofar, like we do in in, uh, Labavitch, but 10 times that. Imagine finish the book of Tehillim like that. Yeah, it takes the whole day. Like it It takes the whole day. After he did this tikkun for him, Natana as he sees Natana Azati going to Gehenom. And all the Nishamot are coming to review the Abtai. He says, Listen, 
This Rasha Merusha, he was a slime ball. He was a trickster in this world. How did he get inside Gehenom? We begging, we're begging Hashem to go to Gehenom, begging. How did he trick you? And he got himself in there. For that you're going to pay. And that year was a very hard year for Rabbi Daftai. Baruch Hashem, nobody passed away. What I want to tell you guys. Tikuna Niftarim, if he could get Natana Azati inside Gehenom, they could take our loved ones from Gehenom into Gan Eden. And they don't have to do anything. No Gehenom, no nothing. No Kaddish, you don't need nothing. You just need one day. But there is a catch. You have to do one tikkun for one dead person. You can't do one tikkun for 20 of them. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And if you do that, you could get... He says he took, in this book, Minchat Yehuda, he took Natan Ha'azati into Gehenom. Gehenom max your 12 months. The guy was in Kafakela for 300 years. Who knows, told Mashiach he was supposed to be in Kafakela. He got him in. So was the power of Rabbi Udaftaye. We could talk about Rabbi Uda for, for, for a very long time. But, we're going to end it here. And we're going to say, May the schud of Rabbi Udaftaye be magen alechem. You guys have a special connection to him because you guys are connected to me, which I'm connected to him. And you always have to know that whatever you do in this world, the smallest mitzvah creates the huge ripple effect in the olam olamot elyonim. And this small thing that you think you do, you just oh, I'm here to do the In Shamaim, they're making a hilula, a wedding. Hilula is a wedding. That's what a hilula means. So, that tzaddik megen alechem. You guys over here who came, for sure you have a connection to Rebbe Daftaye. May you have brachot, hatzlachot, zivugim agunim. May you guys have bazera bar kayama. And may Hashem bless you with kol hatzlachot. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen ve'amen. Rabbi Hanan ha'kashi ha'omer. Ratzah kadosh baruch hu le'zakot et Yisrael. L'fichach heba alem Torah u'mitzvot. Shenemar Adonai hafetz le'man tzidako. Yagdil Torah ve'adiyek adish al Yisrael.